Today we're going to look at three cameras. Um, it's actually the same camera, but uh, there are three different models. Uh, this is the Iconta, the Zeiss Icon Iconta. I don't recall the model number offhand, but it doesn't really make much difference. They're uh, essentially the same camera, uh, released not long after the war ended. You know, it, it was a modest camera, a little view, what they call a viewfinder camera. All folding cameras. And this this model evolved, and if you notice, uh, very early on it had no tripod socket underneath or built into the door. So what you would do is you would get a coin and remove that screw right there. And then you would put um, attaches to your tripod post and take your photo using the camera upside down. Later, they have this model, the Iconta. As you can see, it's similar to this one. Also, again, a folding camera. Uh, there are several lenses. There are two types of lenses, either the Novar or the uh, Tessar. Tessar being the premium lens. And uh, in this case, it, it's attached to a uh, Synchro Compure. And then much later, they renamed the Iconta the Contina. Um, oh, you'll also notice that it has this small little silver stud in here. And what you do is you remove that stud. These are often lost, by the way, for obvious reasons, because it was so tiny. And then you have a small tripod socket, so you could just attach your camera to a tripod and shoot normally. All right, so we'll close that up for now. Final model is the Contina. Uh, also a nice little folding camera, again with either a Novar or a Tessar lens. Uh, these two happen to have um, Tessar lenses, whereas the first one I have just has a little Novar, still a nice lens. Um, operates, they all operate the same. Small little folding cameras. Now one thing that most people don't know when they first get them is that if you tension the shutter you can't release it unless there's film in the camera. However, to get around this, what you do, open the back of the camera and simply turn this sprocket wheel until the film advance knob locks. Then you can tension the shutter and release it. See that? Otherwise, if you tension the shutter without doing that, you can't release the camera. You can't release the shutter. So once again, open the back, and while turning this, simply run your finger across this until it locks. Now you can release the shutter. Very simple. And that's all there is to it. And these are the cameras.